ready to start day two. It was a hot one yesterday, but it looks like it's going to be a wet one today. Good chance of rain. It'll be interesting. We've never had it rain while we were here before. Uh, but it's inside and under tent, so it shouldn't be no big deal. So we had a good time meeting new people yesterday, and the riverboat cruise was good as usual. All right, so let's go get this day going, and see you in a few. <laughs> All right, 500 attendees, right? 500, 500 people seeking a better life. Right, I love it. All right, so we're just gonna hang out. We're gonna run a little candy walk. It's, it's all right. Uh, Four Jars is a company that I uh, met just last year. Uh, it's a Ukrainian family that came to America, right? And they saw, over the last couple of years, they were noticing, now, they're all canners, okay? They saved their food over there, right? So that they didn't come here and see there was a little thing they could do and then did it. They actually lived that life, right? And they came here and they're like, man, we can't get any flats and rings. What's going on with you guys over here? And so they went out to develop uh, a thicker flat, right? which is gonna give you guys a more consistent seal. Jody, that's our neighbor, she did the chicken thing yesterday. Now we, we're fermenters, right? We're fermenters. She's a canner, right? Like heavy, like they're prep, prep, prep. She's been using their lids and she has told us numerous times, right? She's like our little tester. And she says, these are the best flat lids. Don't forget, when we're fermenting, you're gonna need rings and flats so you can store them for how long? Six months to a year, right? Ferments don't last forever. Ferments are six months to a year, depending on conditions, right? So you still need flats and rings, even if you're a fermenter. And if you're a canner, you're gonna wanna stop by and check that out. Anyway, if you go through, get that idea of what you want. There's some basic equations you can go through, and I'm trying to keep this simple. Okay, so in the summer, in the winter time, you have about, in our area anyway, about 18 hours uh, that without, from sunset to sunrise, that's without, you know, sun. So you're going to have to generate your own power through batteries for. 18 hours during that time. What I do is during the day, you're not worried about what you're trying to power. You're worried about you're, you're, you're okay because you're gonna have enough power coming off the solar panels. But you got to have that battery reserve at night. Your nighttime usage you know, on a 30,000 watt home, the average, the typical, you need about 18,000 watts of energy to get through the night. If you use an evening, so water canning is where you prepare your foods and you're going to put them in a water bath for a certain amount of time, then brings the food up to a certain temperature that then seals your jars and helps your food to keep from its water. You want a water bath to be that have a higher acidity level. A pressure cooker has a, uh, a lid that cranks down tight onto your canner and it brings the crop, the crop to inside the canner up to the pressure. So if you're pressurizing your jars and cooking it thoroughly, like you can, anything that we're recommended for pressure cooking is beans, beets, corn, meat, and low acidic food. My cherry tomatoes do I have to tell you how many cherry tomatoes we get in a year? Okay, so I dehydrate them and I use them for, I put them in uh, olive oil for sun-dried tomatoes. Um, I use the Nasco dehydrators. I would love to have an Excalibur if anybody can buy me one. Um, the Nesco's are made in America and I get, I've got five years out. Detoxing can mean anything from intermittent fasting to, um, Doing the full body detox to be doing a metal detox. There are numbers of different types of ways to detox your body. So if you're looking to detox from, my oh God, vaccines or heavy metals or something on that form, then that detox should be handled in a certain way because you can make yourself ill. 
if you don't know how to use the things that are available. The same thing goes with anything. Everything's in moderation. Less is more. Always. Intermittent fasting is an extremely good way to detox the body after you have done a gentle type of plan. Do you all know how your over-the-counter medications and your pharmaceuticals are processed? Do you know where they're processed? They're processed in your liver. Guess that what one organ processes all of it? Your liver. Guess what is the only one you got? You have two eyes, one liver. Be careful of what you're putting in your body. Always hinge on the safe side. Your wife, I wasn't sure. Uh, <laughs> you want to just give no, I want him there. to get me the wooden one. <laughs> there you go. Just ready to go like this. Yeah, I'll try to have one. Oh my goodness! Great medicine that you can make with them. How easy they are to grow, and how everyone should have some elderberries in their backyard. Lower cholesterol, you know, improves your vision. Even you know, the last three times I've gone to get new glasses, my eyes have improved. It's been pretty magic. To get my here I am, this age, and my eyes are actually getting better instead of worse. If you want to just make a flavored vinegar, you can just take regular apple cider vinegar, put some of the dried berries in there, the freeze-dried berries in there, and it'll make a nice flavored vinegar for you. Really easy to make that like that. Besides the fruit of the elderberry, then also you can use the flowers. You know, the elder flowers are beautiful. They're pretty easy to dry. We use a lot of things, but we use them mostly for the teas and to make the cordials that we, uh, you can taste some of it over there. They're really delicious. After it blooms, Sure, we're starting to get a little bit of fruit here. It, uh, the little green knobs will come on there after it blooms. Now we're starting to get it ripe. This is what you want to see when you have a, a ripe elderberries. See how they're evenly, evenly dark. You don't want a bunch of green ones in there. You want it evenly dark. Then you want beautiful, that pot bunch right there. You see how easy that'd be to pick? You can throw your five gallon bucket up there. Doctors don't tell you this to be turning to, and they're saying, hey, your say goes, if you run in your, your kid's dog because you don't like the procedure, then they legally have to um, honor that. And so it was a massive relief to us. But the issue was, we have friends and family who don't feel the same way. And there was a lot of options. When you start getting online looking for uh, holistic cancer options, it's you're more depressed afterwards than before. Because like, which way do you go? There's literally a hundred thousand ways, and every one of those ways, those doctors claim to be the only way, right? And so between St. Jude and all the outside noise, and friends calling the family, we were really conflicted. So at the end of it, what I had to do, um, you know, as a father and a husband, is I really had to block out the noise. I had to quiet my soul, and in that quietness, I, I had peace with the direction that we were going into. And that was surgery. It was, it was in her bone, and it was, um, I remember, uh, it was a hair away 
from her main artery that went to the base of her neck. So it was basically, they, they gave her pretty much two weeks to live, and that was pretty unanimous. Nobody was disagreement on, on that. Um, and so kind of when I have it, I'm going to just share a few pictures. Uh, off just fine, off just appear that my daughter who with you all then. Um, it, it's not for the faint of heart, but I think some of you guys, it would be interesting to see what they did and how fast um, the probe that we picked helped her recover. So um, anyways, this is, this is not for the faint of heart. So this is um, the bone there, and that's kind of the mark where they were going to basically cut it right here. Take that section out, and there was a big section in her jaw bone that they were going to remove and, and wrap that bone in place. And all the nerves had to be sewn because that bone needs to grow with her jaw. So it was it was a 14 hour hour surgery. So there's the bone that you got the leg, and that's the whole that's the incision in her jaw bone. And so they put that piece in there. That is the skin of her, of her outer leg. So that, and that is the inside of her jaw. So uh, if you look at her jaw, there's actually a little bit of hair. Um, she doesn't have teeth yet, she's still growing. It is amazing what they did. So uh, what they didn't prepare for us is that she was gonna be in a coma for three days. This was really, really hard on my wife. Um, she was basically in a coma for three days, high fever. But we learned um, what she could actually take food through an IV. We found out that it was basically straight sugar, right? And we all know, um, cancer, I mean, sugar feeds cancer, right? So they um, found this product called um, Liquid Hope. This is a whole food, all, all real food, so no, no flavor, no nothing. Um, it's high heat, so you don't have to ingest it. And it is a super, the first time they had seen this, um, even though this is all over the country, she was very reluctant to make this happen. This is by the Godson. And this, I, I talked to the owner of this company, and it's gaining momentum in this country, which is very encouraging and very exciting. I think these doctors are realizing that they're basically injecting poison into their patients after they go through these surgeries. And their body is trying to fight and heal. And so I really um, love this product. It is fantastic and highly, highly recommended. My name is Mike. I'm with the Four Jars Canning Supply Company. We are a canning supply company. We've been around for uh, just over two years. Uh, we do canning lids, and we're actually ready to soon release our canning jars as well. These should be around two months from now. We will have our canning jars in the quarts, pints, half gallons, wide mouth, regular mouth. Um, even for some of the Canadian canners, we will have the gem mount. I know Bernard is no longer doing Okay, that. my name is Leigh Uh If you can't remember my name, that's okay. Some people just call me Skipper, and that's fine. Um, so I run a channel on YouTube. It's called Make a Baby. Lovely Mennonite woman teach me how to can, and it just became an extreme obsession for me. And I just saw what it did for my family, and um, I loved it so much that I wanted to teach other people. So today we're just going to do very basic one-on-one -on -one canning skills. So the kettling method um, is basically you're canning without the whole process. It's not USDA approved. It's not NACH NCHFE approved. Nothing like that. It's basically cooking. Grandma approved. Grandma yeah. 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 Okay, so good. All right, I can talk about it then. Um, oh my God, it's like we're like... talking secret stuff. <laughs> <laughs> because of the USDA. Right, we don't want USDA. We want Grandma. They don't even care about us anymore. Right? Well, now, a lot of people use it for their, like, tomato sauce. Okay, so we're going to start with the So the thing is, we are overly clean. We need, they've done lots of studies on like children and asthma and respiratory problems and things. And people who are born and raised on a farm, when you have with that dust and dander and the animals. They did a very, very intensive study with the Amish. With the Studying the how they got sick, and they were all walking around the food and out in the cow fields and in the barns. And so they're, they're proving that, that microbiome and that dirt is actually keeping you healthy. All right, guys, so that's a wrap on Homesteading Life Conference 2022.
was a great time. Met lots more fun people. Had uh, a lot of good classes. More to learn. You can never stop learning. That'll do so it for this time. Now it's time to make the long drive home and we wait. see you next year. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun.